Well, welcome back to Cold Culture, guys. And uh, the new Bronco Raptors announced itself, and Ford has shown it to us, and uh, this thing freaking sucks. So, you may be asking yourself, Blake, why does it suck? Well, one very simple thing, and it's not the fenders. It's actually the engine. Why in the hell did they put an Explorer engine in the Bronco? I do not get it at all. Just give us the V8. I know there's a lot of talk about, well, the V8 wouldn't fit and dirt, 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 dirt. Well, it fits in the Mustang, so I think we can make it fit in the Bronco. The Ford engineers, people aren't giving them enough credit. They could definitely stuff that 5.0, which is one of the smaller V8s on the market, into that Bronco and finally give us what we want. You may be asking yourself, Blake, what does it matter all that much? The Bronco Raptor is going to have more horsepower than the Coyote even has. So why does it matter? Well, it matters because through my experience and your experiences may be different. And if they are, let me know in the comment section below. But in my experience, the V8s, the non-turbos, they give you way more control of the vehicle. They give you way more throttle control and they're way more predictable as you're driving, which is really, really nice, especially off-road. I don't want any sort of turbo lag while I'm off-roading because that could be the difference between getting over an obstacle or smashing my front end. And it's just something I'm not really into. Now, I am over-exaggerating a bit, as you can tell, but it's still very frustrating they're not giving us that V8 we've so desperately wanted this whole time. Now, why else would we want a V8? Well, because we want to supercharge it. We want this puppy to have the same 775 purebred horses that that Coyote gets when it's supercharged on the F-150. And having that in the Bronco would be extremely nice, especially when Jeep has a 392. It's like, we need to have, you know, something to compete with here. The 392 is probably gonna have 70, 75, at least 50 more horsepower than the Bronco. And I hate that idea because Ford has the capability to do more, but they're choosing not to. And this is a consistent theme in Ford. They do this all the time. Uh, look at the Ranger they give the US, look at the Ranger they give Australia and the rest of the world. They choose not to because they know that we as the consumers are gonna buy it as it is anyway. And then all they have to do, like, okay, for example, they know that people are gonna buy this Bronco Raptor with the 3.0, no matter what. And when they put a V8 in it next year, or in three years probably, uh, they're gonna go to us and say, look what we did for you, aren't you happy? Well, it's like, of course we're gonna be happy because you purposely gave us something less before so that we'll be happier now. Another good example of this is the current Raptor. The current F-150 Raptor has a 3.5 with 460 horsepower, which is really nice and all, but the Raptor R is coming out and we know it is. But all these people just bought the Raptor already. And the Raptor R is coming out. Get what I'm saying here? And I definitely think that we're going to see a hybrid option on the Bronco soon. So I know it's going to get all the engines because it already has all of the models. So you're going to want a personal engine to fit your personal model. It just makes sense. And it also, from a business mindset, makes sense not to give it to us right away. So I understand it but it's just very frustrating, it's very annoying, and yes, those fenders are ugly, I said it, it's okay, because they'll be cheap to replace, and we'll all deal with it, and I wanna see them when they're color matched, because I think it'll look even more ugly, but whatever. <laughs> anyway guys, have you seen the all new Bronco Raptor yet? If you have, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. If you hate it, if you love it, let me know, let's talk about it. And uh, I'll see you next time, peace.